And over here in the shade, I get all oh, good fish. And there we go, baby. What is up, everybody? This is John with Archer Fish. I am here at Lake Casitas, actually. I've not been here for a little while. Um, pretty much Castaic is dead. Kachuma is, is falling off, just mostly small fish. Um, so I decided to try Lake Casitas. Now, typically, because it's in the, even though it's 31 degrees right now, crazy. Um, typically, this lake, um, it, it gets turned on a little bit earlier. It's kind of weird because it's up in the mountains. It's coastal. So typically, like, if the spawn is happening at uh, Castaic in March, it's happening here, like, slightly earlier, you know, provided that the water, um, you know, condition is, you know, on point. You know, it's, it was really bad for a couple years there, just probably the pH level, too much decaying uh, vegetation and stuff like that because the water came up so much. Um, so, like, the bass were non-existent here. But uh, the last couple trips that I went, fishing was good. I went in spring, fishing was pretty good. Um, so I've heard that the fishing is pretty good here. Um, last time I went, it was kind of tough to get bites. Um, and I'm hearing that the bites are few and far between, honestly, but they're quality. Uh, so we will see. Um, I will, uh, I will check things out and hopefully be able to get some fish. Plus they just stocked trout. So I did bring a big swim bait, uh, the Huddleston. Um, I don't know if I'll actually fish for trout, but I may throw the hut a little bit. Anyway, I see a lot of top water stuff, so maybe there's a top water bite right now. I'm gonna get a boat, get on the water, I'll see you in a minute. All right, it is gorgeous out. Look at this. It's a little cold, but there's not a lot of wind, so it's not actually too bad. Not another boat that I have seen yet on this entire lake. Amazing, probably because it's cold. Hey, look, I like a nice warm bed and to sleep in as much as anyone. But then once you get out here and it's like this, I mean, it's just, it's why we do this. I mean, obviously we love to catch fish, but just to be out here like this and, you know, again, it's, it's a little chilly, but man, it is just beautiful and serene and peaceful. So anyway, the name of the game today is finesse fishing as far as I can tell um, the water is very clear I hear that there are shad in the marina um, so I may you know I'm gonna throw some reaction baits you know see if I can't get a couple on a crank or, or chatter bait or uh, or jerk bait or something like that I'm basically gonna try everything so uh, yeah I'm seeing like I just saw some fish I'm seeing a little bit of top water so I may throw this little top water along the edges. In fact, I'm gonna, I might get on that right now. I keep seeing a little bit of topwater action over here. Look at this. I don't know if you guys can see it. There's a skunk right there, right? Oh, I can smell him, but he's right there. Skunks are very, very cool, very cute creatures. Wow, that is awesome. All right, so the water is clear, but the sun isn't quite up, so I can't really judge the depth. So because I'm fishing without a depth finder, I just kind of guesstimate <laughs> watching the, the hill here and the slope. And you can get kind of close and see where about four or five feet is. And then you just kind of double it to about 10 feet and then double that to about 20 feet. So I'm hoping, I'm guessing, I'm about 20 feet, which is where I'm told the fish are hitting. Again, who knows this spot? It's just, I never try this area, so I decided to try it because I think it gets warmer uh, quicker. So we'll see. Well, as you know, I don't normally catch fish until about nine o'clock. And it's just about there. Some about the water warming up, I think. So, again, I got faith I'm going to get something, so we will see. I think I'm going to be doing a lot more fishing here uh, in the spring for two reasons. 
One, it's closer to my house now than Castaic. Castaic used to be about 30 minutes away. Now this is the closer lake. So I can probably fish here more often. Plus I have a feeling this is gonna be a really good spring here. Last spring was okay. It's starting to pick up with the water. It looks great. Um, it's clear. There seems to be a ton of bait already. Um, and it's just a lake full of big fish. So I feel like the spawn's gonna be great. Um, it's a really cool, interesting spawn place because there's tons of mud bottoms everywhere. And you can kind of see the shells and stuff that the bass use to make their uh, beds. So it's, it's pretty cool. Like it's a pretty cool place when the spawn is on. It's been about three years or so since like there was a really good spawn here. But I have a feeling this, this could be a really good spawn. So yeah, I think I'm gonna be hitting this lake a lot. We will see. Oh my God. Uh, I had one. I did not feel the bite at all. And when I tried to set the hook a little bit better, because I never felt it, it got off. Awesome. All right, you got to remember something. And I'm saying this because I forgot. A lot of times when it's cold like this, um, or at least the water's kind of colder, you're not going to feel the bite. So I was just reeling in the Sanko, and by the time the line got closer to the boat, I realized there was tension on there. And so instead of like trying to set the hook or anything like that, because there was just no bite at all, the fish just slowly picked it up and started swimming away with it. So I missed that fish because of that. <sighs> All right, not a bad fish as usual with Castaic. I mean, Casitas, they are good. Don't have a net. Try to ah, there we go, baby. Yeah, that is what I'm talking about. This guy is cold, but it is big. <sighs> All right, guys, what do you think? Mm, very heavy, so maybe three and a half, maybe four. All right, first fish of the day, heavy dude. So the thing about Casitas is you may get a few fish, but they're all decent size. Awesome fish. I may weigh them, maybe about a four. What a beauty. That's probably about three and a half, maybe four. It was really heavy, really nice fish. That's a nice first fish. Um, it's, I watched the, the end of the, the rod tip. It, that was a Senko, wacky rigged, dead sticking. I just let it sink all the way to the bottom. That's how I got the hit the last time too. And I actually watched the end of the uh, pole just go tick. And I knew that was a fish. It wasn't being dragged on the bottom or anything like that. So then I just uh, reeled it in. So that was awesome. And again, I'm on this point. I came here in the morning. This other guy out here is only one other guy here. He actually fished this point too. But, you know, th these points... They warm up at different times of the day, so I'll often hit like the same one, you know, a couple times just to see where the fish are holding, if they're getting aggressive or whatever. So that was awesome. And uh, if I don't get anything, I was hoping I could drift because with the drop shot, I like to drift along these whole, all of these sides. Um, you cover way more ground that way. And it's just like, suddenly there's like no wind on this whole lake, if you can see. But anyway, uh, I may stay here for another minute or two and then just hit the next point and just keep trying this. All right, I'm about to leave here. It's about one o'clock. I only had the two bites, caught the one fish. Um, I did see another big fish off one of those main lake points, about a four pounder, maybe maybe a little bigger, you can never tell, but good fish. Wasn't willing to bite anything that I had. Um, so I'm just checking a few more spots. I just, it's been a while since I caught a fish, a couple weeks maybe, I don't know, maybe a week. Anyway, um, I'm dying to get one more bite before I get out of here.
I usually do pretty well in the afternoons here. I just don't want to be here all day. Um, Casitas is an interesting lake, man. I, I'm sure I've said it before. It's like, it's a very tough lake. There's not a lot of dinks. Like Castaic, you can hit a few places and you know you're going to get a dink or two, you know, some small fish. But here, there's not really a lot of small ones. I've caught some small ones, but it's so rare. It's ridiculous. You have to really almost accidentally find a small one. So, uh, yeah, I think it's going to be a really good spring here. If it doesn't get too cold in January, February could be a good time to get over here. Um, but I'll, uh, I'll keep coming. I'll let you know. All right. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Look, you might have me wrapped. Come on, baby. One more for the road. Come on. Sitting over here in the shade, I get all good fish. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Wow, what a chunker. What a little fat dude. Oh, thanks, buddy. I needed that. What a beautiful little football. This dude is eating. Right off this wall here. Not a huge fish. But you only caught two. All right, buddy. Appreciate that. Boom. Thanks. All right, buddy. Gotcha. Thanks, dude. Appreciate you. All right, I probably won't be going fishing again until the new year. So, uh, Merry Christmas, everyone. Happy holidays, Happy New Year, all that good stuff. Hopefully, next year is going to be a better one for everyone. Got a lot of big plans. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to fish with more of you guys. Um, and yeah, that is it. All right, catch you next year.